Hello YTPC, Joshua Stewart smoking a pipe up north in the woods. Once again I'm not up north in the woods, I'm I'm in the shop and at the house in town. But today I'll go back a little bit. Got a package in the mail the other day. Had one of the I guess you'd call it a codger blend that I haven't tried yet. I was gonna save it for the Codger and a Cob and Tool Time Tuesday, but couldn't quite wait, so. We have the infamous Captain Black Red, or Captain Black Cherry in the red pouch. Sorry about that. Captain Black Cherry. Now, I opened up the box that this was in, and you can smell the cherry. And this pouch is still sealed, and I can smell cherry. So we'll... Open it up and pack a pipe with it and see what we think. Let's see if I can get the pouch open. Oh yeah, there's there's chair. Okay. We're still sealed, but I don't know if you can see that. There's a few bits of tobacco that got above the seal. Or the, the line. Cavendish blend with cherry flavor. Delightfully aromatic. Well, let's see crack this open. Oh yeah, there's some cherry smell here, no doubt. Whew. Yeah, it's uh, like sticking your nose in a jar of maraschino cherries. Got just my cheap cob that I've got dedicated for the uh, fruity aromatics, generally the stronger fruity ones. Pack this up, and you know, a lot of people are kind of disgusted by this Captain Black cherry. But I don't know, we'll see. I mean, when I first started, I kind of liked the, the powerful cherry blend. In fact, this is kind of reminding me of the, the Lane Berry Cherry that I got in bulk. Which, I mean, they're both made by Lane, so it could be the same thing, just packaged differently. And that, I liked, but it was a little bit on the strong side, and what I found was if I if I mixed it with what was the ones that I liked? Uh, I think it was some of the chocolate blends I would mix it with, and it was pretty good. And it was, I, I liked it well enough all by itself, too, so. All right. Captain Black Cherry, here we go. Actually, not getting as much flavor as I was expecting on the first couple of puffs on the char light. You can probably hear the train, but it's like a mile away, but it must be kind of still outside and kind of cool. I'm not getting, not actually getting very much cherry taste.
I usually use a filter in, in my pipes. Just the Dr. Grabo paper filters. Mostly because I'm pretty sent well, partly because I'm pretty sensitive to tongue bite. Um, partly just to keep all the bits of ash and tobacco from coming through. Now this is, uh, even with the filter, I think there's a little bit of bite coming through. I'm not puffing hard either. Actually, I'm still not hardly getting any any of the cherry flavor coming through. Which my expectations were that, based on other reviews that I've watched and, and read, was that it was going to taste like the cherry cough syrup, which you know, I'm not a fan of cherry cough syrup, but... I thought it might make it kind of interesting with tobacco, but... I'm not getting... Maybe I'm burning it too hot or something here too to just try to keep it going, but... Sure smells good in the pouch. I don't know what the room note is really like, but I, I can still smell cherry, but I don't know if it's from the from the pouch or or if the tobacco in the bowl or if that's what's actually coming out as the room note. Only this this pipe isn't a real big one, and I only filled it about half or well, probably two thirds to three fourths full when I started. Mm. Mm. I remember one of the other things that I blended with that the the Lane Very Cherry was the uh, a subtle of vanilla custard. That worked out pretty good. You got that cherry vanilla combination. Yeah, the trick with this is going to be to slow down enough to minimize the tongue bite to, and still be able to keep it going. I'm going to pause you for a little bit here and then come back in a few minutes when I'm down to probably the last third or fourth of the bowl. We'll see, you, see what kind of opinions I have by that time. I'm nearing the end of the bowl, the Captain Black Red. But... Hmm. 
At least for me, it, it definitely seems pretty bitey. There again, I'm sensitive to the bite, but... Try to take it slow, but it's still, still getting me a little bit. And in addition to the bite, there's a, a I don't know, there, there's some, I don't know how to describe it, maybe a sharpness. I'm a little disappointed. I was really, really hoping to to like this stuff, and you say the the overpower, overpowering cherry flavor that some have said about the the taste with the the overpower cherry. I can't get the words out. The overpowering cherry, cough syrupy flavor. I was kind of looking forward to. I mean, I'm not real big on cherry cough syrup, but I was kind of looking forward to it. But Not getting much of that. I think all the cherry I'm getting is in the room note. And from the unburdened tobacco. Yeah, it's I just watched the uh, Mutton Chop Piper about the Cult Blood Red Moon and that's far and away way above better than this. That's a little disappointing. I've had like two in the last week. But didn't really care for it. Got the, the Captain Black Cherry no. The Haunted Bookshop. <laughs> yeah, I like the the Lane Very Cherry is better than this. Although there again, I haven't had it for a while. And when I what I think the last time I had the Very Cherry, I was pretty much exclusively on aromatics. So maybe the tongue bite that I'm getting, I was I was getting that with everything that I was trying at the time too. Maybe so. So yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna start doing a like a scoring one to five or one to ten or anything, but at least for me, I don't think I'm gonna buy any more of it. Just glad I got it on sale and I didn't have to pay a full price. <laughs> yeah, well, Cavendish blend with a cherry flavor, delightfully aromatic. I don't know, maybe mixing a burly with it or something might tone down some of that tongue bite.
I'll have to experiment. I'm not going to throw it away. And from, from what I understand, and you guys correct me if I'm wrong, but aromatics, they don't necessarily age. Um, and they do kind of degrade over time, is what I've heard. I can't speak from experience. So, yeah, I'm, I'm sure this is going to last, this pouch is going to last me years. But I don't see myself, I don't see myself going back to it unless I'm really in the mood for a cherry and I'm out of cult blood red moon and out of um, the lane very cherry. I'm going to have to try the very cherry again sometime just to compare, see if it's any, see if the bite is, is the same and, and it's just got a, there, there's an off flavor it seems like too. I can't quite put my finger on it, what it is, but. As far as the Captain Blacks, if the original, well, the Royal is probably my favorite of the Captain Blacks. Probably followed by original and dark, or probably about tied. I didn't really care for the gold, though that's probably been six months since I've tried that too, so. I'll have to give that a go again one of these days and try it, but yeah, this this cherry, I wasn't expecting that I would dislike it this much. So, all right, well, that's enough rambling. Captain Black Cherry, unless you can get it for free or cheap, I would, even free or cheap, I, I don't like to talk that bad about stuff, but it's not for me. Maybe some guys like it. Let me know if you like it and, and what you like about it. Or if you don't like it for that matter. I better get going. This is about double what it should have been for length. So Joshua Stewart, smoking a pipe up north in the woods. Have a good day.